So I'm Polar Trek teacher Lucy Coleman, and I'm here in the McMurdo Dry Valleys of Antarctica. And behind me is uh, Lake Fritzel. Now, this valley that we're standing in has a, a few different lakes. This is the first of three big lakes. And up the valley this way is Lake Bonnie. And in that direction is the ocean and McMurdo Sound. And every now and then, there are ocean dwelling animals like seals that get discombobulated and they think that they're moving towards the ocean, which is their home really they take a wrong turn in life and end up coming up the valley. And sometimes they keep going and going and they go past this lake. They get all the way up to Lake Bonnie, which is like, I don't know, 10 miles that way. And they run out of energy and die. And it's pretty sad um, that they have a, an end of life that way. But it's also part of the natural process here. Um, you know, that has probably been happening since long before people came to this area. And because this is a specially protected area under the Antarctic Treaty, we have to let those natural processes happen. But it also means that every now and then when we're hiking around or we're out on the lake ice, we find the dead things. Um, so we've seen a lot of dead seals. Um, every now and then somebody finds a, a dead penguin too. And the thing is that that dead stuff just stays here. There's no mechanism for their bodies to be decomposed. There's so little bacteria that live here that would want to chomp on those um, bodies. And it's so dry and windy here that the seals or other dead things just get desiccated or dried out and kind of mummified. But their bodies can remain here for years. Um, and then we find them. So that's the, the big charismatic megafauna of the dry valleys. Otherwise.